See that? Told you she'd like that canned cat food. By the way, viewers, it's not yet Monday morning. Fair give you a quick update while it's still Sunday night. Good morning, guys. Now it's Monday as I head off to work. Right now it's looking lovely, even though the weather is saying it's supposed to rain today, which means a rainy summer here in central New York continues. So I'm kind of wondering what crazy shenanigans I might get into today. Considering it's a work day, probably not much, but we'll see. The day is young. Oh shit, looks like it's raining again. Looks like I'll be stuck at Duncan for a bit. Well, it's after 6 o'clock. Got out of work. Well, actually I've been home a while. Had to stop and put out the garbage and recycling. But at least the rain let up enough for me to get home. I couldn't believe it. Rain, rain, rain. It's like it always rains in Herkimer. Hey, I just got the title for the vlog. But yesterday I got some entertainment related news, a couple of them really tragic. Yeah, I heard about the passing of George Romero, who is basically the father of the whole zombie movie subgenre. You know, without that we wouldn't have like The Walking Dead and all that stuff. Well, I do have to admit, I haven't really watched a lot of his movies. I do know of the movies that he did, like Night of the Living Dead. Then I also heard we lost Academy Award winning actor Martin Landau. And he's done quite a bit of work. I know he won an Oscar for that biopic on Ed Wood. Now I'm trying to think. He also appeared in the X-Files movie, the first one. And here's a little fun fact for you. Martin Landau was actually the original choice to play Spock in the original Star Trek series before they gave it to Leonard Nimoy. But in another twist of irony, Leonard Nimoy replaced Martin Landau on Mission Impossible after Star Trek got canceled. So see how that comes full circle? But anyway, both icons to be missed, and there was another little bit of news that I guess apparently now there's a female Doctor Who, but I don't really care about Doctor Who. In fact, I call him Doctor What. I know there's fans of Doctor Who, but, you know, Doctor Who isn't really my thing. Didn't grow up with him, even though I know he's been around almost as long as Star Trek, actually. But I've never watched Doctor Who. Of course, once they had it playing in the break room at work, and I made the joke about calling him Dr. What, and one of the coworkers was like, did you just call him Dr. What? Yeah, because, you know, get the joke. Who, what, where, when, why. You can put any of those words after doctor. It'll be a joke at this show. And I know people are all getting bent out of shape because it's a woman, but me, personally, I just don't care. See, I didn't bash last year's Ghostbusters because there were women. I bashed it because it was a horrible reboot. And I saw that for free up at the college. But as far as female Doctor Who, my verdict is whatever. And I kind of thought of something else as far as the daily vlogs go. I know I laid down the ground rules like I'll try to do this every day. But like I said, daily vlogging is a challenge. Especially in my case where I have to rely on public Wi-Fi to get it uploaded to YouTube. And there might be some days where I may not even get to upload a video. In which case I do sort of have a way around that. There might be some days where I may have to combine days to upload. Like for example when I'm going away. But I also have VideoPad installed on my phone, so there's a good chance I could try to edit it. But the problem is I don't have a USB transfer cable for this phone to my laptop. Because the one I got for the other phone doesn't fit. So basically I have to sync up my phone with Google Drive and then download it from there. The only places I can really do that with Google Drive is either the library or at Dunkin' Donuts because the work Wi-Fi isn't really that strong with Google Drive downloads. But so far it's actually worked out pretty well. I mean, I'm not really as disciplined as a daily vlogger as say Charles Trippy because he's in the Guinness Book of World Records for a reason. But hey, I said I would give this my best shot, and I'm doing it right now. It kind of reminds me of Super Size Me, where he's talking about the three-day hump. You can make it past day one, day two, day three, you're fine. Well, I guess it's the case with this. Oh, and speaking of Charles Trippy, I was just on my phone, and I found out that tomorrow he's filming day 3000 for his vlog series, Internet Kill Television. 
and that the actual vlog will be uploaded on Wednesday. You just posted it to Facebook. I'm like, holy cow. And here I am on day three. The same day he films 3,000, I'm going to be filming day four. I know I'm coming into the daily vlogging game kind of late, but hey, it gives you something to shoot for. I used to watch Charles Trippy back in the day. Well, until I went to college, then I kind of lost track. But I did have him on Facebook and Twitter, so I pretty much knew everything that was going on when I couldn't even watch the series. Because, you know, 3,000 vlogs is kind of hard to watch in one sitting. Holy crap. And now here I am just starting off on that same journey with even more limited means than him. But then again, in my real life, I've always been the underdog. But hey, I've been through a lot. Okay, it's almost 9.30, going out for dinner, so I guess I'm gonna end here. Here end of day three. I'm over the three day hump, I'm all right. Tomorrow, at least I don't have to worry about going to work because it's Tuesday. My nephews are actually supposed to be coming up and I'm probably gonna have to watch them. And there's possibly a good chance I might be going to the movies tomorrow. So anyway, see you next time. I remember when I was originally gonna name this vlog, It's Always Raining in Herkmer. I think I might save that for next time when it actually is raining. Hey everyone, click that like button, smash that bell, and subscribe to me at youtube.com slash tblackcowownerhaines.